Hey guys, this is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade and optimize your Lenovo ThinkStation P500 workstation for gaming and other high-end computing. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com, click on the blog page, and search P500. So this is going to bring you to our blog page on how to upgrade your system. Um, so we're going to show you a whole bunch of awesome upgrade ideas, uh, depending on your budget, um, as well as some of the things that you should do before you, you should even think about upgrading your system for, um, gaming. Um, but, uh, we have processors, memory, NVMe drives, graphics cards, and other accessories that are awesome for gaming. So check this page out. Um, everything that we talk about in this video will be on this page. Um, and it's a great guide, uh, for you to buy, uh, parts, uh, based off of your budget. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the configuration that we uh, have um, for this build. Um, and it, you're gonna see the items marked with the red stars. Those are the upgrades that we're doing in this video to optimize this system for gaming. Um, so the system already had a Xeon E5 1620V3 processor. Uh, it's a quad core 3.5 gigahertz CPU. Um, it has 16 gig of RAM, which, which is a little light, but it'll be enough for the gaming that we're gonna do. Um, it has a 500 gig a Western Digital Black NVMe.2 solid state drive with adapter. Um, if you've never used NVMe, um, you definitely should. It'll change your life. They're three to six times faster than a regular SSD. Um, and then we're also going to install an EVGA NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card. And the system has embedded gigabit port, uh, DVD-RW. Um, something that you should check before you do any of these upgrades is make sure you have an 850 watt power supply. If you do not check out GreenPCGamers.com, we provide the part number to purchase that power supply. It's pretty vital that you get that. Otherwise, you will be limited on the graphics cards that you can actually install. Um, and then we have 10 Pro 64-bit installed on this system. Um, and that will boot right off of the NVMe drive, so that's a nice perk to this system. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the ThinkStation uh, P500 workstation. So it's actually a really nice looking chassis. Um, and this would be equivalent to like a, T, a Dell T5810 workstation as far as the specs go. Um, it's got three USB 3.0 ports on the front. This one has an optional media reader, uh, DVD, RW. Um, and here are the components that we're gonna install. Uh, this is the EVGA, uh, NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card. We do need both of these power adapters to give this car the proper amount of power. And here is our NVMe.2 solid state drive with adapter. That's gonna install right into our IO slot. We'll show you that l later in the video. Here's the back of the chassis. Um, here's our power supply. And again, you wanna make sure you have an 850 watt power supply before you do any of these upgrades. Um, 650 is okay, depending on the graphics card you install. Uh, more USB 3.0 ports, USB 2.0 ports, um, some ancient PS2 connections and uh, the embedded audio. So this system is, you know, you, you could add an audio card if you wanted to. In our case, we're just doing mostly uh, headset gaming, so um, we don't really need an additional audio card. All right, so the side panel is really easy to remove. You push down on that little button there, slide it to the left, pops right off. All right, so here's the inside of our system. It does have some plastics that we're going to have to remove. Um, here's where we can put up to four uh, SATA hard drives. Um, here's our power supply. It removes really easily. So if you have a 490 watt, um, you can easily swap it out. And here are I.O. slots where we're going to install our graphics card and our NVMe.2 solid state drive. We've already moved the PCI brackets. Um, so our graphics card is going to go take the bottom two slots and our NVMe card is going to take the top or the top slot. So this big plastic shroud remo uh, removes really easily. Definitely want to have that in there for proper cooling. Um, the system has eight memory slots for DDR4 memory. So we have 16 gig of RAM, but we could easily add a bunch more RAM if we needed to. As you can see, our processor, it's a single socket CPU system. Uh, supports the E5, 1600, and 2600 V3 processors. And the processors are listed on GreenPCGamers.com. All right, so first what we're going to do before we install our graphics card is we do need to install these power adapters. So we need... Uh, to accommodate for 8-pin power on the GTX 1080. So we are going to use uh, this fancy little adapter first. We're going to steal some power from the SATA connection. 
for one of our six pin connections. And then there is one six pin connection already in the system. Now, normally if we, if we hadn't upgraded from a 490 watt power supply, we would already have a six and an eight pin connection. So we wouldn't have to use that, uh, this other adapter. So uh, we picked this adapter up on newag.com. And like I said, we're gonna plug it right into the SATA connection. Kind of fast forward because it's hard to install with one hand. So that's what that looks like. And now we'll plug this dual female six pin into the one six pin connection that we have standard. And we'll plug that in. Again, this is for our graphics card. So that'll plug in. And then we have to plug in our other six pin that we, we stole power from on the SATA connection to the adapter as well. Because it's going to go dual six pin to eight pin. And that's required for this graphics card. If you don't plug them in, the system is going to hold on post. It's going to halt on post and tell you to plug in your graphics card power adapter. All right, so here's our GTX 1080 graphics card. So this is a pretty big card. And uh, here's our 8-pin power. Now this card's, like like I said, it's, it's a big card. It's heavy. So we're going to have to move those those power adapters out of the place and and basically drop the card into, the, into its spot. We don't have to push. Um, now, as you can see, we just remove the plastic retention clip that holds down the PCI brackets. It, it, it moves like butter. It's super easy to move just like we showed you. You'll have to open that before you can drop the card into its place. And one of the nice things about this P500 workstation is that it has enough room to install these big graphics cards. Some of the, you know, the PCs that you'll find in the market, if you want to try to convert them into a gaming system, they just won't work well because they don't have a big enough chassis. They don't have enough power. So this system's awesome if you have the 850-watt power supply um, or 650-watt. And in this case, like I said, the 1080 when I have the 850-watt. Uh, but it has plenty of room inside the chassis to install this graphics card. And this is going to do a lot of the work for our gaming. All right, so we're plugging in our 8-pin power. And now our graphics card is installed. All right, so we're going to go a little bit deeper into why we do NVMe. Um, they're three to six times faster than a conventional SATA solid-state drive. Uh, something really cool about the P500 is that it supports it as a bootable device. A lot of the older workstations will not support it as a bootable device. They'll allow you to use them, but they won't boot to them. Um, they open up large programs, games, and files super fast. So um, you, if you have a huge program that normally takes a minute or two to open up, um, you want to install it on this uh, NVMe.2 solid-state drive, and you're going to notice a dramatic increase in speed. Um, and basically, it's going to change your life. You know, it's that it's just that fast. So um, you should definitely strongly consider buying one of these NVMe.2 solid-state drives if you have this workstation. All right, so we've got our card already installed in this adapter. Uh, we have the adapter and the and the uh, NVMe drives. The part number is all located on greenpcgamers.com. Otherwise, you can locate There's the SIG part number on this one. So this is going to go right into our I.O. slot. Now, we're purposely going to install this card above our graphics card because you see those cooling fans. We're going to give those as much room as we can to keep that graphics card cool when it's on a work high workload. This card's really light, so all you really have to do is line it up and just push it right into the slot. Now you might be wondering, do I need a driver for Windows to recognize this NVMe drive? Um, it, it doesn't require it for this particular drive. Uh, we've also installed the Samsung Evo NVMe drives. It doesn't require any sort of driver. Um, not to say that if you install a different drive that it, you know, it might need one. So, But in this case, if you install the same NVMe, it'll work without a driver. All right, so we just need to clo close up our chassis. And we're going to start by putting this big cooling straw back into place. Pops in really nice and easily. And then we've got to put our side panel back on. And the side panel should drop in pretty easily like so. Okay, so we are ready to take a look at the back of the chassis. So now we've got our GTX 1080 graphics card. We've got our NVMe installed. Looks really nice and clean. I've got three display ports, HDMI, DVI. Um, yeah, so everything looks good. Now we just need to 
install our operating system. So we're not going to show you how to install the operating system because uh, that takes a long time. Uh, there are other videos on YouTube for that. Um, but when your operating system is installed, we're going to fast forward to that. The first thing you want to do is go to NVIDIA.com and install the latest driver. So you go to NVIDIA.com, go to drivers, and locate the driver like you see on the screen. If, you, if, you don't, if you're not comfortable searching for the driver based off what you installed, there's this auto detect feature, which is really cool. Um, you can do that. Um, and obviously, if you just install Windows for the first time in this system, on, the, on an NVMe drive, do all the Windows updates uh, to help your system run as, as well as it can. Um, if you do install the NVIDIA update and you're gonna game with the system, use the GeForce experience as well. It's super easy to use. It'll allow you to optimize your games. Let me tell you what kind of frames you got with this system. Uh, we tested it with a game called Tom Clancy's The Division and we had an average frame rate of 120. So that's really, really good because it's a really graphic intensive game. Uh, we put all the settings on ultra slash high, um, and this system is awesome. It's a monster for gaming. So um, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Again, check out greenpcgamers.com. It's a great resource for upgrades for your P500 uh, Lenovo workstation. Also, if you like free hardware giveaways, go to greenpcgamers.com on Facebook and like our page for monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.